Bonafide Hustler here! Shall we, Bonafide Hustler here? I'm a bit late, but I think today might be a great garage sale day. Let's hit it up. What's going on, guys? It's Chris, the Bonafide Hustler, coming to you live from the inside of the giant spaceship. Finally making another ride-along video. It's been a while, I understand, but this is what I do to make money. If you guys are checking out this channel for the very first time, this is how I do it. Oh, a squirrel. God, lost my train of thought. I go to garage sales, thrift stores, swap meets, flea markets, etc. And I flip all the stuff that I find there on places like eBay, Amazon, Antique Mall, and Craigslist. So we should be at the first garage sale here pretty soon. I hope it's a good one, because I really want this day to be amazing! All right, there it is. Let's see if we can find anything here. Wow, first scores of the morning, guys. I'm still outside this garage sale. Tony Llama belt, which is gonna go to my antique booth. Probably sell this thing for like 20 to $24 or so. Bought it for three bucks. Very nice looking Western belt. All right, there's more stuff. Stanley, you know, hot or cold kind of insulator bottle. Now it's not the one that I really wanna find at the garage sale, and I find every now and then the one with the army green, like, uh, you know, how do I say it? Glossy look to it and real tough, but still for a dollar, I'm gonna be able to flip this thing for about 10 to 12 in the booth all day. Now it's getting great. Check out this freaking Mohawk helmet. No, okay, it's a showy helmet, an RF-1000. $15, what? $15 with two extra screens to it. I love it. Amazing condition. The lady's a writer. I mean, this is an easy score. For another $15, another showy helmet with a much better paint job. Crazy and in great condition. And it came with two screens. We have this screen and we have a clear screen. That's a great deal. That's what I'm talking about. So guys, when you're actually hustling motorcycle helmets, check these three things. The visor needs to go all the way up and all the way down. One, two, one, two. All right, so that works for sure. Second thing, make sure that these air vents right here can open and close. Air vents down here and air vents usually on the back somewhere. Open and close on the air vents. Last thing, make sure that the interior is not completely roached out and you should be good to go. And there's my box that I just dropped off at the post office super early. Goodbye, little box. Goodbye, shoes in a red box. I will see you later. I will keep looking at you till you become a tiny little speck. Do you still see him? Still see him. I still see him. I still see him. Still see him. Goodbye, box. Goodbye. I'll never let go. I'll never let go, box. My hunt has led me to this street where it looks to be. Oh my gosh, my hunt led me to this garage sale, which looks to be awesome. Could be deceiving. Never know. Yes. A colorful trucker hat, 50 cents. Gonna ask about 12 bucks in my booth for this one. Simple little trucker hat, couple little micro stains. Am I gonna clean it? <laughs> nope. I'm gonna put it right in the booth. It'll be gone in about mm, undecided time period, but it's such a great swing. I mean, 50 cents to 12 bucks and I don't have to be there. I'll put a tag on it. That's my kind of hustle. Shut up. Let me record my segment, stupid beeping car. Oh my God. My hunt has taken me to this place. A good old throwback Saturday, I guess, whatever. Starbucks, AKA Starbies. Fully charged up to take a sip out of this dopio. You want to look, you want a gander, check it out. Look at this thing. Can't even see it, right? All right, hold on. Let's take a little sippy sip. Mmm. Ah! Woo! -hoo! One ah, because it's Starbucks. Also one ah, because I've become a dopio, a connoisseur. Anyway, it's not the greatest. That's why it gets one. And when you get a five, it's when you're like, like bouncing off the walls, make all kinds of money kind of hustler style. 
and you find those dopios in the weirdest places. So, cheers to you guys out there. I hope you're making money. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, by the way. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Oh, oh man. Gonna save a little bit for later, even though I shouldn't. Oh, oh man. Let's go. Uh, someone's behind me. I could probably steamroll them with my SUV. SUV. Your SUV. Your SUV. So strong. It tore, it tore my bumper off. Your SUV is so strong, tore my bumper off. Your SUV is so strong, it tore my bumper off. Oh crap. Woo! Alright, well, let's. <laughs> Now I have a good feeling about this garage sale coming up. Uh, you know, I don't know. It just—it just seemed like it would have some cool stuff. It's in a decent neighborhood, central part of Austin. So I'm really kind of excited about this one. Oh my God! There's some construction equipment for sale. I'm just kidding. I might want that guy right there. Man, I have never seen so much junk in my life. There's not a single good thing in there. Unbelievable. I cannot believe that. But hey, you know what? You gotta try. That's all part of the game. So another bona fide strikeout on those three garage sales. Yeah, not a single thing. So, kind of telling me one thing. It's already 9.50, right? And it's not like every single garage sailing day should be amazing and perfect. Although mine did start off pretty strong. Um, at 9.50, it's like stay close to your money, guard it. If you're not, you know, finding stuff all day long, don't be pressured to spend your money. Because that's a really terrible, terrible habit to get into. You don't always have to find something because you want to have money for when you come across that perfect thing. You don't want to drain all your cash for something really stupid and something that's out of your risk parameters or something that makes you take less money than you're normally taking on a single item. You don't want to mess with that kind of stuff. You got to be true to yourself and that's how you can prosper in this business. Um, yeah, staying close to my money, I'm probably going to hit another good will or two and then I'm going to chief it out today, man. I'm going to chief my day away. I'm pulling into a Savers. Boy, I really don't go here on Saturdays, but I'm going to go here because I'm really close to it. Why not? Okay, the last stop of the day was right there, that Goodwill, and I went in and out, didn't find anything, so it's not a complete loss today. Days like today come around every now and then for me, right? It would be dumb to assume that every single day that I go hustling is an amazing day. It just doesn't happen that way. But these days like today, few and far between, you gotta endure days like this in order to see the really good day. So, Call it riding waves, call it riding the ebb and flow of what you know we go through as resellers, but it's not a big deal. And I'm certainly under no pressure to spend my money on things that I don't need to be hustling just because I didn't find anything today. Hope you enjoy my videos, guys, and you're finding some great information. But right now, it's time for me to go chiefing. And that's how you chief your day away. You get a felt chief, which is a very hard to find, super fat tire bicycle the internal three-speed Nexus hub and then you ride the crap out of it to make yourself feel better. Hope you like the chiefing that I was doing. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to find me on Facebook at The Bonafide Hustler. Don't forget to find me on Twitter at YouTube Hustler. Don't forget to check out all the cool links below. And with that, I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>
let's get back to business. All right, I'm Matthew McConaughey type jacket, guys. This is a leather, uh, who cares about the brand because I basically bought the style on this one. It feels good, it feels tough. It's nice looking, it's not my size. Unfortunately, 